Vermont diggers and uh, I'm going to try to electrolysize a couple of things so we can see how well this design works. Um, I got some advice from a guy online and I told him about the copper issue I was having with pitting and you don't want to leave it in too long. I know that's probably a voltage issue as well. Um, but I've heard of guys doing this with 9 volt adapters and not having a problem so he suggested that I take a piece of plastic and put it in between the two poles like that. So I'm going to give that a shot and we will see how well that works or if it works at all. So um, I'll go through the process here and you can see how I do it and we'll see if it helps and what the result is. Get this where we need it. Okay, so let me grab something. We have some iodized salt here. We have our container. We have our stainless steel point of conductivity. We have our adapter. And we have our two points that we have alligator clamped so that we can attach our points to the object that we are going to work on. So what you need is a teaspoon of salt, iodized salt, and I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in here. And now, I'm going to fill it about half full with warm water. It takes a minute for my water heater because we just got an, an on-demand water heater, which is awesome for um, saving electricity and saving money, but it um, takes a little longer for the water to get to the faucet. So anyway, it just sounds like the rain outside began pouring, so whatever. So while we're waiting, I was supposed to go to work today, but I woke up with this wicked migraine. I don't know what that was all about, but it was so bad that I didn't go metal detecting today because sometimes if I stay home, if I find a half an hour free or something when the kids are asleep and my wife's home, I'll go just for a little while. But unfortunately, I wasn't feeling up to it, so I'm here iodizing and salting water. So anyway, I stayed home today, but I'm still not feeling the best, so I figure I'll do a park dig and we'll try this and see how it works. Alright, I'm still not used to this screen next to the lens. I keep looking at me instead of looking at you, so my apologies. Okay, so now we got our water in here. So the way this one works is that the black is the lead that goes to the object in question. And this is one of my little um, bridle buckles that I found. You can hear my kids in the background. And that is before we do anything to it. And I'm just going to see, since this is a cool little relic, but it's not very, it's not incredibly old, because the site I found it on isn't that old. Um, but it's in bad enough shape where I want to see if it works. And also, um, it's not valuable or any way, and it has no crazy meaning to me like my first blah 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 or anything so we're just going to give this relic a shot so the next thing you do is you attach the hot side to the steel now remember depending on the way your adapter is set up um, red and black might not be red and black so another t I'm going to say it again because I said it before in my other video but basic rule of thumb is that if the stainless steel component bubbles you've got it backwards so you want to switch them. So I guess now I'm going to put this in between. Just like this, like the guy told me to. And we'll see if that makes a difference or if it does nothing. So now I will put my lead in there. Listening to my kids argue in the background. And I'm going to plug it in. It's always good to have a GFI when you're doing this rolling. That way I can um, speed it up later and we can see if there's any changes. Okay, so we'll just let it roll and uh, 
I'll kind of break it up later so you don't have to watch this for an hour when I edit the film. Starting to, yeah, I wish I could show you, because you can't really see it on camera probably, but the water is starting to turn dark underneath the rusty area. See? So something is... Can you see that? So it's letting go, man. It's doing its thing. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we'll just leave it in there for a while. If I have to go to my longer battery, we'll go to my longer battery. And I'll check it in a little bit, and we'll see what it does. I'm going to pull it out just for a second so I can check to see if the brass is getting pitted at all. And it isn't, so we'll just let it keep going. Because that's the problem, is that everything gets all pitted. It works a little too hard, you know? I stopped the camera, and it doesn't seem to be going very fast at all. So, I mean, I, was, I'm, I knew it wasn't, but I thought we'd see something cool by now, because it's been in for about 15 minutes. So, I'm going to turn off the camera, and I'll turn it back on in an hour. And we'll see what we got. Five o'clock. Right now it's 5.18, so it's only been three minutes since I hit stop. And it's actually um, improved quite a bit just in that time. You look at the water, you can see the water is a lot darker than it was. And there's a lot of sediment on the bottom now. You can see all that. So it is definitely letting go of a lot of junk. And you can see it floating up to the top, some of it. You can see some of it going to the bottom. And I think that chunk of rust has gotten smaller. Okay, so we are at... What time is it? Kim, what time is it? 6.30. 6.30, so this thing's been in... Okay, we are at 6.30, which means this thing's been in for an hour and a half. So I'm going to pull it out, I'm going to clean it up, and we're going to look at it and see what it looks like at this point, and I'll decide whether or not I want to put it in longer. Because I really don't want to damage the, um, I'm pretty sure it's brass, the brass buckle part of it. So we're going to check it out. Okay. After it's been in for an hour and a half, there is some pitting going on. As you can tell, that's my kid getting into the cupboard. But I'm not sure if that's from the electrolysis or if that was already there. And it is beautiful. A lot of rust has come off. A lot of tarnish has come off. Practically all the tarnish is gone. But I'm going to hook it up again and take another run for another hour and a half and we'll see where it stands and if it destroys the buckle itself, then I'll know it doesn't work. But if the buckle stays about the same and more rust comes off, then I'll keep going. So we'll see how it looks in another hour and a half. Neutralized it with some baking soda and I rubbed it down. And I already showed you the result, but there it is right there. I've got some clean water and another teaspoon of salt in there. And I'm going to give it another run and we're going to see what it does finer metal. Now it's it looks the same to me. It looks like it's still pitted like it was. In some places it's actually smooth. So I don't think it's harming the softer metal. I think it's still doing what it needs to do. Does that look good? And we're going to plug her back in. And here come the bubbles. So we are now in our third round of hour and a half. So um, I just saw hour and a half as a safe number. 
Well, you can see all the particles moving around in there now, huh? That's pretty crazy. And we're going to go with that, okay? So it's 8 o'clock right now. It's actually a little after. And I'll come back at 9.30, and we'll check it. You know that I um, changed something. It's been in for an hour longer. It's almost 9 o'clock, so well, 45 minutes or so longer. Instead of keeping the points connected to the outer part of the buckle, I moved it to the inner part because I noticed all the bubbles were coming out of this. I think pretty sure that's steel. Um, out of the steel part and the uh, iron esque, the harder metal part in the center um, wasn't bubbling much at all. So, here I'll just show you. So, I moved the point um, of conductivity to the actual. Um, part that I want to remove the rust from and now that's where the primary bubbling is happening so I think that is probably the better option so we're gonna go with that for a while and I'll let you know what happens okay okay so here's my conclusion I let it sit from um, the last point that it was on and uh, it's 11 o'clock now and I'm getting ready to go to bed so I'm cleaning out the bucket here, and I'm putting everything back in, and now I have this to show you. Now it must be that it was just too far gone to repair, because you could see how it was doing such a great job that it was actually deteriorating the pin in the center. And when I pulled it out, this whole thing hinged, it moved like it was going to swing, and then this part fell off. So. It did an amazing job on the frame and uh, around the edge here on the buckle, but I haven't yet cleaned that with baking soda that's still just the way you see it. So that is great. It didn't pit, which is amazing, but I think in this specific incident, the pin in the middle was just too far gone to repair. So I should have known better and I should have stopped the electrolysis process um, at the last um, clip because that was as good as it was going to get. Now I got curious because it revealed some of the pin and I thought well maybe that stuff's just going to fall off and it'll look great. But no, this was in the earth way too long and it's just deteriorated way too much. So now I've got a nice clean buckle which I'm going to shine up which is awesome. But the pin is deteriorated and I could just pop that off I guess and I would have a really nice frame but I'd rather keep it on there just for whatever archaeological sake or historical reference or whatever because it's the original component so so there it is and it actually cleaned it so well that it brought out that little indentation right there that the pin used to sit in if you can see that it cleaned everything off so good that you can see that little dent or that little indent where it would have slid into so it did too good of a job and I held it I was it was in there too long so I'm gonna put it back in my um, back in my case and it's still beautiful but now I know in the future because um, I have another buckle that's twice the size of this one that's in the exact same condition so I know that I'm just going to put it in there and let it electrolyze enough to clean the frame but I'm not going to try to put it in there too long so it'll clean the pin so anyway here's the digging and that's my conclusion so good night Yes, that is the same button, and this button apparently looks like copper. I'm going to give it another minute, and then I'm, that's it. I'm going to take it out and call it good. So it's been in for an hour, and then I baking soda it to see how it would clean up, and it cleaned up pretty good. So I wanted to put it in just to see if I can get any more of that stuff off, but I don't want to pick it up, so I'm going to give it another couple minutes, and then I'm going to take it out. Okay, so I got the button done. And I figured I would give you just a shot of what it looks like when it's finished.
through the rock. He'd sextet through the sand.